Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. I'm Congressman Colin Allred, uh, and I'm really excited to be joined by DART President and CEO Nadine Lee. Thank you, Ms. Lee. And DFW Airport Executive Vice President of Global Strategy and Development, John Ackerman. Thanks, John. Last week, very early on Saturday morning, I got home after voting to pass the largest investment in our nation's infrastructure in a generation. I'm glad we were able to schedule today's event a little bit later to make sure that folks know what was in this bill and how much of an impact it's gonna have on our region. Here in North Texas, our population is growing incredibly rapidly and investing in our infrastructure is not optional for us. It's a necessity from our roads and bridges to our public transit and airports, as well as our water systems and broadband internet. This bipartisan bill makes investments in our infrastructure in a way that will create jobs, reduce congestion, take steps to protect our planet, and set Texas and our nation to lead the world for years to come. According to estimates from the White House, Texas is expected to receive over $35 billion in investments from this bill. And these investments will help our state move forward with existing plans, make much needed upgrades, and it will help businesses get their products to market and folks get around more efficiently. And I'm so glad to be here at Mockingbird Station this morning because the platform extension project that they're completing here is a great example of how DART has used federal investments to better serve folks across our region. From this bipartisan bill, Texas is set to receive over $3 billion to improve and expand our public transit. And I have no doubt that DART will be successful in putting those funds to good use and making public transit a good alternative transportation option for folks here in North Texas. In Texas, there are 818 bridges and almost 20,000 miles of highway in poor condition. Our failure to keep these roads and bridges in good condition is costing Texans time and money. On average, each driver pays $709 a year in costs due to driving on roads in need of repair, and commute times have gone up dramatically, with many North Texas cities logging some of the longest average commute times in the state. This bipartisan infrastructure bill will help reduce some of that congestion that we've all come to know and hate, and will hopefully shave a few minutes off of your commute times, making it easier for North Texans to get to work, class, or their appointments. And I can't talk about infrastructure and our growing our economy here in North Texas without talking about our state's second largest economic driver that we're lucky to have right here. DFW has for a long time now been a leader in making smart investments to update their infrastructure and doing so in innovative ways. And I have no doubt that a good amount of the $1.2 billion that Texas will receive for airports will make its way to DFW and be put to good use improving the movement of materials and products to and from North Texas from our world-class businesses and our travel. Making air travel more sustainable and many other things that I can only imagine this industry-leading airport that we're lucky enough to have will put to use with this investment. Whether it's DFW, DART, or our other local transportation agencies, we've seen that when public and private agencies work together, we can do big things quickly. That's why I've been leading the charge to streamline public-private partnerships so we can make these investments as quickly as possible. And I'm so glad that the revisions for my bipartisan legislation that will do just that are included in the legislation that President Biden will be signing on Monday. This legislation will put our nation on a path to lead the world for decades to come by ensuring that everyone has the tools to come by ensuring that everyone has the tools to thrive in our modern economy. And this pandemic has only underscored how important it is to have access to high-speed, reliable internet for kids in our schools, folks working from home, and people just trying to stay connected. Here in Dallas, we saw far too many kids in DISD and our other school districts experience learning loss because they couldn't log on for class or they had to sit in a McDonald's parking lot to get access to the internet. In the greatest state, in the richest country in the world, that's unacceptable. And this legislation gives Texas $100 million to expand access to high-speed internet to over 1 million Texans. That's gonna make a huge difference for our state and our region and will help us continue to lead the world in this modern economy. This bipartisan bill is a big, big deal for North Texas and our nation. And I was proud to vote for this package that will work to create jobs, reduce congestion, and grow our economy. 
I want to again thank Nadine and John for being here today and everyone at DART, DFW, TxDOT, and our other local transportation agencies who worked so hard to get this bill passed. I'm looking forward to continuing to work with all of them to make sure that this money gets home to North Texas and then we get to work on some long overdue projects. With that, I'll turn it over to DART President and CEO Nadine Lee, uh, followed by John, and then we'll take some questions. Thank you all so much. Good morning, everyone. My name is Nadine Lee, and I'm the President and CEO of Dallas Area Rapid Transit. Um, I want to first recognize the DART Board of Directors, uh, Chair Michelle Wong Kraus, who unfortunately couldn't be with us today, but sends her regards and uh, her congratulations to Congressman Allred. Um, and also Vice Chair Gary Slagle, who is right in there in the back. Uh, thank you, Mr. Slagle, for your support. Uh, we are very grateful to the Biden administration for their constant and steadfast support of transit in the infrastructure package, as well as in the Build Back Better plan. Congressman Allred, as a member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, we want to thank you for your partnership and support of DART in the committee's work on the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Your work has been instrumental to ensure that DART has, the, has a greater opportunity to provide more transportation choices for the people in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Thank you. Nationally, this bill expands transit systems, supports environmentally friendly or clean transit options, targets funding toward providing vulnerable po populations with improved access to transit, and increases accessibility for seniors and persons with disabilities. And good, the good news for transit in the state of Texas is that we are expected to receive nearly $3.3 billion for public transportation over the next five years. This is a historic level of investment for transit in the country, the state of Texas, and of course for DART. I have always felt that the job of public transportation is to develop and provide opportunities or options that work for the people we serve, connecting them with job opportunities, education, and the necessary services that they need to live healthy and productive lives. DART serves as the backbone of, this, of an integrated mobility system that benefits all North Texas residents. Our regional collaboration with other transportation agencies pulls all these services together in a truly multimodal system that meets the needs of the traveling public. We are eager to leverage these historic levels of investment in, infrastructure inv in the infrastructure, infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act as we continue to deliver a system that serves people exceedingly well. This is the legacy that DART will deliver for everyone. It's what I call the People's Transit System, a mobility network that focuses on the riders and puts people at the heart of everything we do. We want everyone to love transit and we want them to love DART. Thank you so much to Congressman Allred for the opportunity to be here today. The success of the entire North Texas region relies on working together for the benefit of all our residents. Like you, we are excited about the future and we look forward to seeing just what is possible with this new infrastructure package. Thank you. Well, good morning, uh, Congressman Allred. Uh, thank you so much for your leadership on the TNI committee, for being such a strong member of the North Texas delegation, and of course for voting yes on the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Thank, thank you very much. This legislation will enable DFW International Airport to better meet the needs of the traveling public by supporting critical infrastructure investment and continuing to grow jobs that strengthen the North Texas economy. In the aviation industry, we are working to address the infrastructure challenges ahead. Funding directed towards airports like DFW is put to good use on, in meaningful and necessary infrastructure projects. During the pandemic, DFW completed 42 capital projects valued at more than $500 million. We're very proud that this work created jobs for more than 4,000 North Texans in a very difficult economic environment. DFW was actually able to accelerate some projects while demand was down, including reconstruction of a runway that's critical to both DFW operations and the national airspace system. This project was partially funded through the FAA's AIP program, which will directly benefit from the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act. Recently, we were honored to host Congressman Allred at DFW to show him how we are replacing several of our legacy gates at Terminal C. 
DFW team and our partners actually constructed these gates off-site and then moved the modules across the airport in the middle of the night uh, to put them in their final place. Uh, this was the first time this had been done at any airport in the world, and we saved 25% in time and money by using this technique. The project was so successful that we intend to use the same technique uh, to expand terminals A and C in the, in the very near future. In DFW Airport, is we're approaching our 50th birthday, and much of our infrastructure, <clears throat> excuse me, our roads, our bridges, our utility uh, is aging and will need to be upgraded. We will invest more than $3 billion in existing infrastructure, but we also must invest to grow our capacity. Our investments will ensure that DFW Airport continues to contribute to the dynamic North Texas economy. And as we discuss infrastructure, it's important to keep the environment in mind. And DFW is a leader in sustainability as well. Over the past decade, DFW has demonstrated that sustainability is good for business and it pairs very well with infrastructure investment. We have established a successful track record of reducing emissions, lowering operating costs, and driving economic value, all of which led us to become the largest airport in the world and the first in North America to achieve carbon neutral status. While we self-fund most of our infrastructure needs, receiving federal funds from vehicles like this infrastructure bill allows us to accelerate the pace of transformation and create more economic opportunities for the communities we serve. As DFW faces the challenges of balancing the priorities of modernizing existing infrastructure while making the necessary investments for future travel demands, we're very grateful for the support of elected leaders like Congressman Allred. Congressman, thank you very much for all you do for DFW.